what do you do? It is I, the Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. Mr. A feels it would be a little unkind to present this episode without just a friendly word of warning. We are about to unfold the story of Frank and Cow. It is one of the strangest tales ever told. It deals with not one, but two great mysteries of creation. Life, that is one, one mystery. And death, that is two, two mysteries of creation. Ah, ah. I think it will thrill you. That is one, one feeling you will get. It may shock you. That is two, two feelings you may get. It might even horrify you. That is three, three feelings you will get. Ah, ah, ah. So, if any of you feel that you do not care to subject your nerves to such a strain, now is your chance to, well, reward you. Ah, ah, ah. After all this time, my latest and greatest creation is almost complete. Igor, hurry up! Yes, master. <clears throat> okay, seriously, why do I have to be the stupid hunchback assistant and you're the evil genius? I mean, come on. I've obviously been the smartest one in the group for a pretty long time, yet this is what I get to be? I mean, come on. Oh, there's a logical explanation for that, Donnie. I'm taller than you. Seriously? That's the reason? Hey! This is my one moment to really shine. So don't ruin this for me and stick to the script! Fine. But I'm not doing that stupid voice. Alright then, fine. You do you. <clears throat> Anyways, uh... After all this time... After all this time, Igor, my latest and greatest creation is about to be complete. Where exactly is your latest and greatest creation, master? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Igor. Say, recently, I broke into the morgue and took so many dead body parts. Now, using my scientific mode genius, I am going to prove to the world that an ordinary person, or dog like me, is capable of creating life. Now hurry, Igor, while the storm's still a brewing. Flip the switch. Yes, master. Not the light switch, you idiot! The other switch! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Happy birthday! I did it. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> My son, you're alive! Wow, Victor, you absolute mad lad. You actually did it. <laughs> Damn right I did. I have created a living human being. 
Well, actually, he doesn't really look like a human being. He looks more like a... Like a... A cow? Yeah, exactly, a cow. But who cares? I have created life! What do you think we should name him? Well, what do you suggest? Maybe we can call him... Frankenstein. <laughs> oh my god. Igor. There's, there's this... I, I can't name him Frankenstein. I'm Frankenstein. Well, what do you suggest we call him? I think we should call him... Sid. Sid? Out of all the possible names in the world, you want to name him Sid? Yeah. I mean, come on. He looks like Sid to me. I don't know. I don't think Sid's a proper name for a monster. Hey, 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 hey. You watch your mouth, all right? He is not a monster. He is a living person, and he deserves to be treated with the respect it deserves. Isn't that right, monster? All right, Maria, I'm going to go do irresponsible adult stuff. So uh, just stay out of trouble and uh, go play over by that pond. Okay, Dad. Aw, that's so wonderful. I'm lying, it's actually pretty boring. Oh my goodness! Hello! Oh, uh, you admiring the flowers too? Yeah, it's kind of pretty how they just flow in the water like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they float. Yeah. <gasps> wait, wait, what are you doing? S forgive me for doing this, baby lamb. Oh, wait, I'm not. Ah! Ah! Mm -hmm. I'm just coming back from doing irresponsible adult stuff and <laughs> Maria! 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 No! No! My daughter! My, my only daughter! I shall avenge thee! People, please settle down, settle down. All right, this town hall meeting is now in session. Apparently, there's been talk going around the town that uh, some monster has been terrorizing you guys or something. Yes, that monster killed my daughter. See, I even have the dead body to prove it. He thought my friend could float, so he pushed it into the river. He stepped on me, and I think I might have brain damage. That monster stole our eggs. For some reason, they haven't hatched in like, oh, I don't know, 13 years, but still. He poisoned our water supply, burned our crops, and delivered a plague onto our houses. He, he did? did? No, but are we just gonna wait around until he does? I say we form an angry mob and bring this evil monster to justice. <laughs> Let's bring that stupid monster to justice. A stupid monster's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, did you see a? Did you see like a really big, green, ugly monster go by somewhere? Uh, no. I'm a lamppost. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Uh, get him! <laughs> hey, the monster are headed to that windmill. Now how we're gonna stop him? Yeah, how we're gonna send that stupid monster straight to hell? I think I got an idea. 
bomb. Do you think you can blow up that uh, windmill? Oh, uh, oh, yo, man, are you assuming that because I'm black or something? Dude, no. You literally got a fuse on your head, and your name is Bomb. And you blow stuff up all the time. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure, I can do it. Not a problem. All right, ready, aim, fire. Huh? Ah! Yeah, the monster is dead. Wait. Technically, he's gonna return for like, you know, the Bride of Frankenstein, but who cares? He's dead! Dr. Victor Frankenstein, I'm placing you under arrest for tax evasion. Oh yeah, and also for creating a monster that killed a little girl. Uh, I was framed, I tell you! Framed! Okay, actually, no, that's, that's, that's pretty much accurate. Coming soon, the better get started for the time is through. This is Halloween's coming soon, the better get started for the time is through. Halloween, Halloween, you better be seeing what you haven't seen. Ah, uh, look, bats. Let us count the bats. One, one bat. Two, two bats. Two batty bats. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Ah, I love counting bats. You know what else I love? Counting Halloween stories. And this is story number two. It is the story of the Sanderson sisters. A group of witches who sought to wreak havoc on capital city on Halloween night. And Baby Lamb and his friends try to stop them. Let's see what comes out of this. Oh, baby Lamb, when are we going to go trick-or-treating? My tummy requires sustenance. <laughs> yeah, and Kathy's tummy requires sustenance too. Don't worry, cow. We'll go trick-or-treating. We just have to wait for Ricky. Where the heck is he? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry I'm late. Uh, I was just doing some Christmas shopping. What? Dude, it's Halloween. Yeah, I know. It's kind of funny. See, I was at the dollar store, and, you know, I, I was going to get some Halloween stuff. But when I got there, the aisles were literally filled to the brim with Christmas stuff. So I figured, hey... Why not shop for Christmas two months early? I mean, there's a lot of- Look, forget about that. Can we please go trick-or-treating? Oh, oh, yes. Of course. But, but, but before we do, I actually got something that's Halloween related for all of us. Really? What? Oh, you're gonna love this. <laughs> Introducing this baby. That's it? We waited almost two hours for you. That's like two hours that we could have spent getting a lot of delicious candy. And we wasted it just to get a candle? Oh, but it's not any candle. You see, uh, see the guy at the, the store that I got this from? He said that this candle can summon witches. <laughs> witches? <laughs> nah, I don't believe you, Ricky. That's a, that, that sounds like a lot of hocus pocus. I don't know, the guy at the store said it was, like, really legit. You sure about that, Ricky? How can a candle even summon witches? Well, let's see. Well, uh, from what he told me, on, uh, on Halloween night, under the full moon, a virgin has to light this candle, then he will summon the witches. Witches? What? <laughs> uh, Kathy asks, what's a virgin? Well, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> you know what, that's not important. Uh, uh, let's, let's just light this baby up and see what happens. Oh, wait. Let's see, what do I have to do here? Is it... Oh, there's a little switch. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so the candle's lit. 
Now what? I guess nothing. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe it is a lot of hocus pocus. Uh, guys? Ooh, what's happening? I think I pooped my pants. even more gorgeous once we claim the souls of every mortal child in town. Now come, we have lots to do. Whoa, I can't believe it. Three witches. I can't believe I got that candle at a great price. Why do they look so familiar though? Oh, don't worry, Kathy. I don't think they're going to do anything bad. All right, ladies. It is all Hallow's Eve, and you know what that means. Ooh, a lot of children for all licking around in costumes. And more children means more life for us. Exactly. The more children we find, the more lights we get to suck. And that means we shall live forever. Now let's go find some children. <laughs> oh man, dude, Halloween, the one time of year we get to gloat at all the babies wearing those stupid costumes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, look, it's three little girly girls dressed as witches. Oh, shouldn't you be out with your daddy? <laughs> no, our father is finally in hell. Oh, give it up. You're not even real witches. Yeah, you ain't got magic powers or nothing. Oh, I don't think he should have said that. Well, he's screwed. Oh, no magic powers, eh? Wait, what? You sure showed him, Winnie. Yes, I sure did. Now come, sisters. We shall fly in search of thine children. Oh no. Guys, what did you do? Uh. I went to the bathroom all by myself. Ooh. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. Didn't you guys notice three witches fly by? Maybe. And did you notice how they mentioned that they're going to take the lives of children? Maybe. And did you happen to use this candle to summon those witches? Maybe. So, what just happened? Guys, I think you just summoned the Sanderson sisters. <gasps> Who's that? They're a terrible trio of torment and terror. Every Halloween, whenever a virgin lights the black candle, the Sanderson sisters appear, and their mission is to claim the lives of children, suck their souls, that way they can reclaim their own youth, and they can live forever. Forever? Yes, forever. So, you're telling me that we just summoned a group of evil witches that kill children so they can live? Yep, that's basically in a nutshell. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to have to find some way to defend ourselves against the witches. Who knows what kind of evil stuff they could be doing right now. Oh, girls. I think we just found a child. Oh, and he's hanging from this tower. He's probably already dead. Sarah, you idiot! That's a Halloween decoration! It is? Oh... We're supposed to be looking for real children, not stupid decorations! There's got to be little brats around here somewhere. 
Winnie, I see two trick-or-treaters over there. Excellent, Mary! Their souls shall be good as ours. Hello, ripe little children. You look mighty young this evening. Do not worry. We are not going to harm you. We are just here to make you a treat. Look, Scott, look. See the three witches. Yes, Dot, yes. See the three witches. <coughs> look, Dot, look. See Chicken Jane write the letters F, L, E. This is getting us nowhere. Shall we feast, sisters? I thought you'd never ask, Queenie. Let's dig in! <laughs> uh, excuse me. That was delicious! And I can feel ourselves getting more youthful! You're so much, ladies. You have no idea how much an opinion they ask these kids are for me. They always get me into trouble. <sighs> Thank you. You are my heroes. <laughs> now I can be free. Woohoo! Uh, Winnie, should we not do something about that chicken? No, Mary, we're here to hunt for children, not chickens. Oh, oh my God. God! That chick is crossing the road. Why do you do that? I can't believe it. Those, those two little children got devoured by those witches. And we have to stop them before it gets even worse. Or before they claim more victims. Oh, 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 I know exactly how to stop them. Okay, so if lighting a candle is what caused them to appear, then obviously blowing the candle out will make them disappear. Uh, I don't think it works like that. Too late! a strong candle oh wait a second duh <laughs> this is an electric candle obviously i just gotta turn the switch off see simple as that uh i keep pulling on the switch but what the it's it's still lit wait a second guys Okay, never mind, continue. Cal, you are disgusting as hell. Anyways, uh, look, that's the power of the black flame candle. Once it's lit, it can't be blown out. Well, then how are we going to stop the Sanderson sisters? Hmm. Well, I did hear that if you pour, like, a circle of salt around you, then it protects you from witches. Yes, and I, I know exactly where to get salt. I'll be right back. One trip to the kitchen later. Okay, so there was only one container of salt that we had, but for some reason, it was completely empty. Uh, oh, sorry guys. I didn't think we needed it. <laughs> Wait, guys, you can't go trick-or-treating. It's not safe out there. I must go with them. Why, because you want to trick-or-treat and get Halloween candy so bad? No. I value the life of my baby brother and his best friend more than even Halloween candy. Besides, if we kill the Sanderson sisters, then maybe we get rewarded with Halloween candy. Maybe like a lifetime supply of Halloween candy. <laughs> Still, hold up you guys, I'm coming! <laughs> Kathy, I love you with all my heart, but please don't run off on me like that. You had me worried sick. Oh, it's okay, Kathy. You share my love of candy. <laughs> Just like us sisters share our love of children. Huh? I think we've hit the jackpot, sisters! We sure did, Weenie. 
two little ones, and a great big fat one. I wonder which one we shall get. Now, now, sisters, we shall feast on all of them equally. Oh, you girls want to share our candy? Well, I mean, I don't think it's enough. I mean, uh, the night's so young, but you know. Oh, I wouldn't exactly say candy. <laughs> he says, do you like his costume? Uh, apparently he's supposed to be dressed up as Santa. So you dare make a mockery of our hero? Whoa, that's another thing we have in common. Santa's my hero too. I mean, I really love Ginger. I can't believe it, sisters. They have commercialized our idol. They have insulted the big S-Man. And they are going to pay. I know exactly how. We shall take the little cow's soul, and once the sunrise hits, we shall no longer cease to exist. <laughs> so what are you guys talking about? Oh, but what about the yellow one? He is dressed like us. He is not dressed like us! Look at this stupid hat! Do you really think witches wear those? You are so right, sister. Let's have them both! Offering to carry them. That's nice. Wait a second. Say thanks for the dinner. Two little tots for the price of one. No, no. Don't worry. I shall fly too. Oh crap. <laughs> guys, guys, terrible news. <laughs> what? Did they run out of Halloween candy? No, worse than that. Although that is very terrifying now that you mention it. No, the Sanderson sisters, they came and they took Peep and Kathy. What? Yeah, they said they're gonna like eat them or something. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Yeah, seriously, what are we gonna do? We don't even know where they went off to. Do you, Cal? No, they just flew off on their invisible broomsticks to God knows where. My sweet Kathy. <sighs> Some Halloween this turned out to be. Uh, don't be like that, cow. There is no way we're going to let those spooky, sneaky Sandersons try to take the lives of innocent children. Not on my watch, and not on Halloween. No, we just need to figure out where they went to. I think I may be of some assistance. Oh no, not you, Maxwell Snark. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I was the one who gave Ricky the black candle that he used to summon the Sanderson sisters. So wait, you're... So wait, you're the one who gave Ricky that candle? Oh my goodness, Ricky, why did you trust him? You know he's a con artist. Hey, hey, hey. I prefer the term sneaky salesman. So, Max, uh, do you know exactly where the, where they took the kids? Oh, yes. See, knowing the Sanderson sisters and their appetite for children, they obviously took them to the one place where children are most vulnerable, the bathroom. Why the bathroom? Why not? It's a private place. No one can suspect a thing. Those damn witches are sneakier than we thought. But wait, the Sanderson sisters are evil and they have magic powers and spells and we got nothing we're powerless we can't defeat them well uh technically yeah you can't defeat them but that doesn't mean you can't arm yourself for instance take this with you a uh, mickey mouse light stick hey let's not forget they came from like the 15th century to them this probably means that you have power too. And besides, it lights up. Whoa, colors. Oh yeah. So guys, uh, you ready? Oh yeah, which is gonna die tonight. Oh. Uh, are you sure we should be doing this? Oh, what's the matter, baby lamb? Are you scared? Uh, scared? Me? 
Uh, no way. Oh, really? Damn, you're, you're, you're very brave. I, for one, am petrified with fear right now. Yeah, same. I never had to deal with witches before. None of us had to deal with witches before. But this is a matter of saving two innocent children. We can't afford to lose. You're right. Let's go. Excellent! The potion is almost ready! <laughs> Silence! You're about to be dinner soon. Oh, this is wonderful. We are so close to getting eternal life. This kind of treat is simply to die for. But we're not the ones who will have to die for it. <laughs> and do you know what the best part is? Uh, we don't have to wash our hands? No, you idiots. It means that nobody is going to stop us, and we shall devour the souls of every child in Capital City! Not on our watch. Look, sisters! More souls to devour! The more, the meaner! And what exactly do you pathetic souls think you're going to do? Well, let Kathy and Peep go, or we're gonna use this. I don't know exactly what it does, but uh, I'm sure it's pretty powerful. Huh? Bubbles? Ooh, pretty bubbles. Sarah! Sorry. That's our best weapon against the Sanderson sisters? Bubbles? Yeah, I don't think Maxwell thinks this through at all. Okay, we should probably stop. Bubbles were pretty, but you're still powerless against us. Sisters, I think it's time we show these clowns just what we're made of. Uh, what are you gonna do to us? It's time to use our magic. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! <laughs> my, 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 my friends! What, what did you do to them? We just simply took their souls. You know, typical witch stuff. Yeah, it was pretty funny. What are you going to do about it, cow? Well, I... Wait, how do you know my name? It literally says that on your shirt. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it does. <gasps> Don't worry, you two. I'll make sure you're safe and sound. And are you going to do that, cow? There's three of us and only one of you. You're outnumbered! Yeah, you're right, I am outnumbered. <gasps> but, I have one special power that you all don't have. Oh? What power is that? The power that makes me proud to be a cow. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, none of us can do that. Let's just say I use my methane magic. <laughs> Prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> ah! what? We're melting! Oh, what a world! What a world! No! no! Bye bye! Oh yeah, it's time to get rid of this potion too. I hit the spot. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. I am so glad that you and Peep are safe and sound. I just wish my friends were here. Oh man, why does she have to kill them? My goodness, Ricky, Donnie, Baby Lamb, you're all alive! Wow, what just happened? Cow, did, did you of all people defeat the Sanderson sisters? Did I? Oh my goodness, I did! Wow, that's gonna be so proud. So wait, how are you all managed to come back to life? Well, you defeated the Sanderson sisters, Cow. And because you defeated those evil witches, 
All those spells and curses have no meaning anymore. They're gone. Yeah, basically they're just all null and void. So, yeah. By the way, Cow, how did you defeat the witches? I just remember that water is the one thing that actually kills them. You know, Cow, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... Thank you. You're, you're, you're a real hero. Yeah, seriously. I mean, that was really brave of you. Oh, thank you, Ignacy. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Cap. Let's get out of here. Halloween's so young, and we got candy to get. I'm with you there. This year, Halloween was like no other year. For we got an unexpected visit from the Sanderson sisters, who wreaked Halloween havoc on this town. But it is with the bravery and heroism of Baby Lamb, Ricky Bowers, Kyle McMoo, and Donald Dolphin that they managed to single-handedly stop the Sanderson sisters once and for all and make Halloween a safe holiday once more. So on behalf of all the citizens in Capital City, I want to thank these four gentlemen personally for protecting our children and for protecting Halloween. So wait, who are the Sanderson sisters again? Uh, I, I guess we're after like kids or something. Ugh, gross, they're pedophiles. No, 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 not like that. And especially I want to thank Cow, for he figured out a way to stop the Sanderson sisters and make sure they meet their demise. So Cow, I've got a special Halloween treat for you as a reward for your bravery, heroism, and surprising quick thinking. Ooh, really? What is it? It's a big basket of Halloween candy. Enjoy! Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! Make a tree smell my feet! Give me something good to eat! Oh, a Halloween candy basket. I cannot wait to devour you whole. <laughs> huh? What? Oh. It's empty? No! The end. That's it? That's how it ends? Yeah, I mean, think about it. The thought of getting absolutely no candy on Halloween <laughs> Just a thought that gives me the jitters. Honestly, I think a much better ending would be if you guys accidentally fell into that giant toilet and then y'all got flushed to death. Honestly, Cal, I think this story focuses more on you wanting candy than the witches. I didn't really like how mean and nasty those witches are. But that's the point. They're supposed to be mean and nasty. They're evil witches. Why can't they be good witches? Because then it won't be a Halloween story. Not all Halloween stories have to be so mean-spirited. Come on, guys. I think I did a great job telling a scary story. Right, Kathy? <laughs> what? You weren't scared either? <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least you tried, Cal. Tried? He clearly just ripped off the movie Hocus Pocus and let out a lot of important stuff. Oh, I love that movie. Those witches are so funny. I especially love that part where they sang a song and they used to like a, like cast a spell on the audience. It was kind of like a hypnotic. Oh yeah, that song. Uh, how did it go again? I put a spell on you. Which is sing another song. Oh, really? How did that one go? It went a little something like this. One way or another, I'm gonna find ya. I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya. One way or another, I'm gonna win ya. I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya. One way or another, I'm gonna see ya. I'm gonna meet ya, meet ya, meet ya, meet ya. One day, maybe real soon, I'm gonna meet ya. I'm gonna meet ya. I'll meet ya. And when the sun has gone down. We'll fly our broomsticks downtown.
to spy who's around. Hey, look! Up in the sky! Oh my goodness! I can't believe my eyes! Is this even happening? That can only mean one thing. Santa Claus is coming to town! It just goes to show that you can always have fun telling scary stories, or stories that are not so scary. And for this episode, it has been two, two spooky stories from Capital City. Ah, ah. Ah, it warms my heart to see so many people joining together to celebrate Halloween. So, like always, Happy Halloween to all, and to all a good fright! Ah, ah, ah!